Again, we see much of the same from yesterday. I have made my covenant with David and his children. And if they follow me, I will be their God and they will be my people. And, and of course, nothing has changed from yesterday. You follow the Lord and he'll still be your God and you will be his people. Now, the, the, the peace, of course, when, when we see the natural results of our own decisions. Okay. So sometimes punishment comes in the form of this is the natural consequences of your decisions. Okay. You stay up to watch that one last baseball game. Okay. It's now two in the morning. What's the natural result of that con- the natural consequence of that decision? I'm tired in the morning. Is God punishing you? Uh, I mean, yes, in a certain sense, in that there is a stable order applied over the whole cosmos, and you made a decision that has that consequence. Okay? Then we get into the messy realm of this bad thing happened to me. I didn't make it happen. This is not the result of my decisions. Well, sometimes it is. And we just don't see it. But sometimes, and many, no, I, I, don't, I don't understand why this is happening to me. And sometimes we can look at that and go, this is clearly an experience of the Lord is punishing me in a disconnected way from whatever evil I've done. And yes, possibly that is true. But it is not always the case. Because we live in a broken world. That just happens. It just happens. Lightning strikes, car fires, cancer, it just happens. It's the part, it's the, it's the result of original sin, the breakdown of the cosmos. Things are not the way they are supposed to be. And sometimes it's not a punishment. The Lord's not looking down from you for having gone like, he, I want you to have a really bad day. But instead, the Lord looks down and goes, that's going to hurt. I want to be with you through that. That, that Again, that all being the case, even though it may not be a direct punishment for my sin, this is the direct result of somebody's sin. And in the Christian context, no, no longer do we need to be hung up on justice. That's not fair. I didn't make this to be the case. True? Yeah, we all know that. That's what the theology book says. That's what the catechism says. That's what the Bible says. It's not your fault. It does not mean that you can't use it for the greater glory of God. So yes, today's headache may not be the result of your decisions. It may not be a direct punishment for some mistake you made in the past. But you can embrace it as a penance for the whole world. And thus add your sufferings to the suffering of Christ. Follow in the path of Jesus. And that leads to salvation.